So I've seen a lot of people come up with seasons for their vlogs and I know that I'm gonna need a break coming up soon with the baby coming. So this is probably going to be my last video. What's up everyone? Uh, I am sitting in a parking lot of Publix in Benita Springs, Florida because Lauren and I are running some errands um, for before her dad's house's Christmas Eve dinner tonight. Um, and I'm sitting here waiting to finish off our errands that we're running, including some last minute Christmas Eve present shopping and some Publix run. Uh, Lauren said that it was going to be quick, and here she is now, so on to the next thing. Alright, so now I am standing at the back of our car, the Adirondack chairs, Adirondack, Adirond, whatever. The chairs are in the, in the back seat now, we're back at um, Lauren's parents' house but uh, I am still in the driveway because it's the only place that I can film. There are people everywhere, everything's moving around, and I wanted to get in front of the camera one more time before the end of the year to tell you a little bit more of essentially the things that I've learned um, from this year of vlogging. Um, specifically three things that I've learned um, during my time vlogging uh, this whole year. So, um, let's go into them right now. All right, so, like I said, there's not that many places to film around here. Um, and people are everywhere. I wanted to film in the backyard because there's a really nice patio and there's actually a dock um, onto a river. And I wanted to go there, but there are just people everywhere. There's dogs, there's uh, food everywhere, and there's just no real quiet place to film. So. I'm back at the driveway. Um, but I wanted to go over three things that I've learned since vlogging. Number three, take too many shots. One of the things that I've learned throughout this year, unfortunately, very early on, was not having enough shots for my B-roll and not having enough shots of myself telling the story. And because of that, there are many instances this past year that I needed to just an extra shot or two to help me move the vlog along to um, help me with my story but since I didn't take them I needed to fill them in in different ways mainly slates of text to kind of tell you what was happening but one of the things I've learned is that you can never take too many shots but you can need a shot so my first lesson or Lesson number three, if I'm going backwards in order of importance, take too many shots. Okay, so for number two, always back up your footage. One of my other early mistakes was to assume that I had time later to back up my footage. Now, it was easy in my eyes then because I was using my phone as my vlogging camera, and I just always assumed that until I delete the video or the photos or whatever from my phone that I would never lose them. That is until my phone's battery decided to act up and the only solution to it was to replace the phone altogether. So that meant that I lost everything. All the footage on my camera uh, was lost and I never backed it up. So all the footage of my old vlogs and all the footage that I had filmed for the new vlogs never made it onto the new phone and I just lost all those episodes. So yeah, that was a pretty harsh reminder for me to back up everything. Um, and if the resources, uh, back up your backups. Um, so what I do is I take the footage from my SD cards, I put it on my laptop, and then on my laptop I put it on my portable hard drive. And then for my portable hard drive, I actually back that up on an external hard drive I have uh, at my desk at home. But yeah, I had to learn my lesson the hard way. Back up everything. And then the last thing, um, the last lesson that I've learned, just do it. My last tip is pretty much the most important one and if you need to take away from anything from this whole video, this is the one. Just do it. Start that vlog 
if you're watching this, you're probably a fan of vlogs and you're probably watching how other people do it, like I did. And the number one thing is just to do it, just to start it. It doesn't matter if you have a fancy thousand dollar camera, it doesn't matter if you have an old GoPro or if you're just using your phone, just start recording. It only matters that you do it. So my first vlog was actually posted on YouTube way back on December 30th of 2017. Why that specific date? Well, I had planned on starting to vlog on January 1st, New Year's re resolution, 2018, I was gonna start it strong. But I also knew that if I waited until that time, there was gonna be excuse after excuse that I was gonna come up and there was a great chance that I was just gonna back out of doing it altogether. So I didn't wanna do that and I decided right then and right there that I just needed to get it done, to do the vlog, to get it started and just go for it. And yeah, it wasn't thought out. I didn't plan it out. And I made a lot of mistakes. It wasn't polished at all. I tried to fly my new drone and forgot to press record on the camera. So I did all that work, I did everything, and I forgot to record it. The control, what the camera is seeing, so let's have a good flight. Well, two mishaps already. One. I didn't press record when I did my, my flight, so you missed everything. Two, well, it's a little dusty because uh, I crashed her. I could have quit right there, but instead I shot the video fully to the best of my ability at that time, edited it, and put it on YouTube regardless. And off I went with this whole vlogging thing that you see right now. So yeah, whatever you get from this video, just remember this one thing from me in this one lesson that I've learned this past year. Just do it. Anyways, um, I don't know. Now that I'm talking about flying a drone, I started this whole journey, this whole year off uh, with flying a drone. So maybe I'll fly a drone now in the backyard. All right, see you later. Peace.